Hey everybody, it's me Mark, and this is just a quick video showing you the Samsung Q2U, which is a budget microphone. Um, this microphone costs about $100, or it's actually about 80 euros, depending on where you're buying it. And it comes with a stand, and it also comes with a microphone holder, as well as an XLR cable, and also a USB cable, which is cool. So it comes with all the cables you need, and a windscreen, which you can put up on top of the microphone to stop the P noises and the B noises from um, your breathing noises from coming true. Okay, so let's just take a look at um, what this microphone sounds like. So I'll switch to the microphone now by showing you that I'm switching to it by sharing my screen. And over here I have the microphone selected. Let's just mute my normal microphone and then unmute the Samsung. Okay, so this is me speaking through the Samsung uh, Q2U USB microphone. I'm actually connecting this through USB to my computer now, and this is what it sounds like through USB. Let's keep it a little bit outside of the frame so you can hear me and I'm speaking a little louder. This is how it sounds like when it's outside of my frame and the volume turned up all the way. So now I have a, uh, a little nearer to my face, to my mouth, and uh, this is what it sounds like when it's just a little bit nearer. So the thing with this microphone is it's hard to keep outside the frame because the volume doesn't get la that loud. So um, there's actually, just I'll just switch to my normal microphone now to um, explain again. Okay, there's actually buttons on the bottom over here of this microphone uh, where you can actually adjust the volume, but it's not adjusting the volume of let me see. It's not adjusting the volume of the uh, microphone output, but it's adjusting the volume of your headphones. So that's the um, thing with this microphone. This doesn't adjust the loudness of the microphone, but it just adjusts the volume of the headphones. Because in the bottom, you can actually stick uh, your headphones in the bottom, at the bottom of the microphone, and listen to your voice. So this is called direct monitoring. We're listening to the microphone itself without the um, audio going through the computer, which will give you a delay. So it's actually just um, in real time. Okay, so another thing to um, let's uh, to to check this microphone is the XLR connection. So let's just uh, switch to the XLR jack, which is uh, connected to the audio interface. So here we go. Okay, now I'm speaking through the same microphone, the Samsung QU2, and this is connected to an audio interface. I connected it to a Behringer UMC22, um, which is um, this thing over here, right? And it's a very cheap audio interface for about $40, maybe, or 40 euros. And um, notice here, I turned off phantom power, uh, which is actually uh, power, should power the mic, actually. Um, I turned this off so it um, doesn't destroy the microphone. So because this is a dynamic microphone, you're not allowed to like connect it to phantom power, which is actually powering the condenser microphones, which are different types of microphones. So always turn that off to not risk destroying your dynamic microphone. Okay, it's like, it says 48 volt on your audio interface. Turn that off, keep that on the off switch before connecting this microphone. Good, so this is how it sounds like through the um, XLR connection. Now let's switch back to the USB connection so you can see uh, what that sounds like or you can hear what it sounds like. And now this is what it sounds like through the USB connection. The difference is with the XLR connection, you might be able to turn it up a little louder uh, depending on like what audio interface you're using and with the USB connection you cannot turn it up louder because that's all software okay there are ways to like um, increase the um, loudness uh, the gain of your microphone by adding something called an inline preamp which is like something like this to between the microphone XLR connection and your audio interface uh, but that costs like the same like as the microphone itself it costs about 80 90 maybe a hundred dollars too. So um, you're playing the actually double just to like increase the volume. And that would be $200. So actually you can get a lot better microphone for that money. Okay, so let's speak, uh, let's switch back to my normal microphone so you can hear what the difference is. So this is the normal microphone I usually use. So I'm not using this one over anymore. I'm using the normal microphone I usually use. And this is what it sounds like if you use a high quality microphone. And um, at the moment now, I just wanted to choose to test out the Samsung Q2U, uh, which is a $100 microphone, about $100, and it comes with all the cables you need. It comes with a stand and um, everything you need to like uh, to connect it to your computer, which is pretty cool. The build quality is great. It's uh, an, um, a full metal casing, which is which is cool. So I guess it won't like get destroyed all that fast. It comes with a pop filter on the microphone, which is uh, 
which is this thing over here. And uh, this thing just gets rid of P and B noises when you're breathing into the microphone. But I usually keep it a little bit far away so I don't really um, like breathe into it. So um, always good to have if you're like, if you have the microphone near to you. And because it comes with a stand, you won't need to buy a stand, which uh, usually costs about 30, maybe 18, 18 to 30 like euros. Okay, so you decide for yourself how you like the sound. I'll just switch back to the microphone again so you can hear the difference. So this is a Samsung Q2U um, with the USB connection connected directly to my computer without an audio interface. And this is a Samsung Q2U connected to an XLR cable connected to a $40 or $50 audio interface. Okay, let's just figure out how this microphone sounds like if um, you remove the windscreen on the top. So this might muffle your voice a little bit, so let's just remove it. And uh, I'll take a look at how it sounds like through USB and through the XLR cable. So um, now let's just switch and share my screen so you can see what microphone I'm using. Okay, so at the moment I'm using my normal microphone, which is the Rode NTG3. Let's just switch to, uh, let's turn that off and switch to the Samsung Q2U. Okay, so now I'm using the Samsung Q2U without the windscreen on an audio interface, which is connected to XLR. And it's turned up all the way, the volume's turned up all the way, so you can hear me properly. And now let's switch to the USB connection of the Samsung Q2U. And now I'm talking through the USB connection of the Samsung Q2U, and uh, the volume's turned all the way up too. So uh, actually what I can do is I can actually look at the preferences, the sound preferences, and um, let's just see if the um, volume over here is turned up all the way. So I'll go into input and then let's just choose the Samsung Q2U and then let's turn the volume up over here. The volume on input is turned up all the way, so um, which is pretty loud, I think. So this is how it sounds like with a Samsung Q2U without the windscreen and uh, with the volume turned up all the way connected to USB. So let's just uh, choose the other audio interface, which is um, this one over here, I think. And then, uh, okay, you can't collect, I cannot um, like change the uh, volume over here because it's an audio interface, but with the USB connection, I could. Okay, so now let's switch back to, um, it might be a little loud, so I'll just I'll put it down just a little bit. So what, how does it sound like if it's outside of the screen? So this is how it sounds like when it's outside of the screen at 100%. This is a Samsung Q2U connected to USB. Now let's uh, switch to the XLR connection. This is the XLR connection pulled up all the way, the volume, um, the gain knob is turned up all the way on the XLR connection, uh, the XLR interface, uh, audio interface, sorry about that. And uh, this is what it sounds like uh, when it's uh, near me and this is what it sounds like when it's outside of the screen. Now on comparison, uh, let's just check the normal um, audio interface I usually use with a normal microphone. Okay, so this is the normal microphone and normal audio interface I usually use, and this is what it sounds like when I speak to my normal audio interface. Okay, um, so that's it for this video. If you have any questions, then just post it below. See you soon, and bye-bye.